Kia ora, boys and girls. Welcome back to the channel. So we're back with uh, Chapter 1, Map 2, uh, of this month's Cavalier Events Quest, X-Men Future Shock. Um, and we're going to bring in a skill theme along with Doctor Doom and She-Hulk um, for the Venom Pool boss. So, um, as you can see, the map, if it works, uh, it rewards skill attackers. So we're going to carry on with that, and then we'll come back up to the boss, um, and I'll catch you back up then. So, just like, um, just like Medusa in the last chapter, um, Killmonger is just absolutely a beast with this chapter. If you have him, and if you have that synergy with uh, Void and Winter Soldier, um, he's just so, so good for clearing the line of this map, the lane. Now, the boss is Venom Pool, nothing new here. Um, but he is power focused, so he's always going to go up to the uh, two bars of power. He's got Footloose, so every time he activates a special, he's going to become unstoppable and evade. So you kind of want to uh, be a bit conservative then. And also whenever he does that, he also goes stun immune. So he's going to be stun immune, he'll evade you, and he'll become unstoppable. That'll be quite tricky. But also when he's fighting a mystic, every 10 seconds, um, he becomes immune to nullify, face seal, and stagger for 6 seconds. So if we are using uh, Doom, which I, I probably will, um, then we're going to have to be a little bit careful. Um, I, I brought She-Hulk as well. Um, just as a second, as a secondary. So, what we need to be careful of is just that. Ah, uh, well, at the moment, um, he's not stun immune, so that's absolutely fine. We can nullify that, and now he is nullify immune. So we can't nullify that. Uh, the purple thing goes away, and all of a sudden, now we can get rid of that. And it's just back to basics. So for a little while, he's really easy. And for a little bit, he's going to be quite hard. So now he's purple and you again. We just wait it out. Okay, now he's not. Yeah, I probably should not have thrown my SP2 there, but that's fine. And I'll quickly throw this. Ooh, no, no, I won't. And so again, we're just going to wait it out. And now he's just a normal cosmic. Give him a stun. Try to get in there. Try to get to our SP3. And what I'll do is maybe, if we're really quick, we can push him to the SP3 and drain his um, mana for that immunity. But I can't guarantee it. Oh, he is immune. Oh, but we can still take his power, so that's fine. Um, so we'll let him do that, and then we're gonna... Then we're gonna go in, and we'll throw another SP3, especially while we're still in um, our little fury form. So that's going to do a lot more damage than that first one. We're down to 42. And we're pretty open here because he's just come out of the immunity. So we can still um, drain that power. And also, as you can see, expect to have immunity. But we've, we're going to do a lot of damage here. And... Just take care of him. So the trick here is just balancing between the nullify immunity um, and being a little bit conservative when you when you've got the nullify immunity and when he's not, you can just go for it. You don't have to use Doctor Doom. You can use pretty much anyone. You can use Doctor Voodoo or um, Sigra or Longshot, whoever you want. Just be careful of, uh, or even Symbia Supreme. Just be careful uh, of the six seconds when he is nullify immune, and be careful of when he throws a special and he hits that foot loose. That's when you want to kind of back away, just wait it out, um, and then look for an opening. All right, hopefully that helps you guys. If it did, like, subscribe, leave a comment. As always, um, I'll see you in the next one. Kaki te ano, bros and girls.